so before I get started, I just really want to say thank you so 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 freaking much for 300,000 subscribers. That's just insane guys, like really insane. I'm just really really thankful for your support and just want to put it out there before I get started with the video. So today we have a leg workout routine, an inner thigh workout routine, which is what a lot of you guys have been asking for for months, so it is here. This is a body weight routine, so you don't really need anything at all except for a resistance band if you want to. So I personally don't do exercises targeting inner thighs only. I don't do isolation exercises for my inner thigh. Um, but today's workout has been modified to target the inner thigh more. So yeah. It is going to be 10 minutes, uh, but I really recommend you guys to do it three times, so 30 minutes. Hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. Today I'm wearing Gymshark leggings and these got sold out within a couple of hours last week. But good news is there will be more coming this April, so check out more of their range in my description box. The first exercise is lateral lunge. Take a big step to one side and lunge down as low as you can. You can definitely feel the stretch on your inner thigh and do it slow and controlled. There is no need to rush it. And my upper body usually lean a little forward too just to create some balance. So today we have eight different exercises with the first half being more of a compound move. Um, yeah. second break and we are going to move on to plie squats or sumo squat. So for sumo squat, make sure your feet are pointing outwards and your feet really wide apart as well and then you squat down. Don't arch your back because you can potentially hurt your back especially if you are using weight. I'm sure you can feel it on your inner thigh. This obviously works on your whole thigh but you can feel it more on your inner thigh. Now that we're done with plie squats, we have lateral leaps next. So this is pretty simple, just take a really big step to your right with your right leg and then bring your other leg, which is your left leg, to the back. So this exercise is really great for your legs. Next, we have crisscross jacks, which is super awesome because this works on your inner thigh more than the conventional um, jumping jacks. It is pretty much like jumping jacks, except that you are going to cross your feet over slightly. So this helps to target your inner thigh more. Next, we 
have um, pretty much like a sumo squat with a jump. So squat down as low as you can with your leg wide apart. Um, then jump up and then repeat again. <laughs> so yeah, this really really burns. Okay, now that we're done with our first half, we are going to do more isolation exercise for our next half. You can also take a little break if you want to, like a minute break. So next we have inner thigh lifts. This is quite an awkward position, like I find it pretty uncomfortable the first time I did it. You just have to adjust until you find that spot. <laughs> So just bring your top leg over like what I'm doing here, then lift up your bottom leg. This really isolates the inner thigh muscles. So do it super slow and controlled, especially when your leg is coming back down. Let it down slowly and you can definitely feel the burn. You can also try putting your leg behind like what I'm doing here. It is definitely more comfortable but it is also easier. You can also lift your leg higher and touch it with your hand. And that works on your abs too. So you're working your abs and your legs. I mean your inner thigh at the same time so that's awesome. So now that we're done with one side, we gotta give some love to the other side. So. Focus on your inner thigh, lift through the burn until you can't do it anymore. <laughs> Next, we have band adduction. Honestly, it works um, both the inner thigh and the outer thighs. Um, so to target your inner thigh more, make sure you don't let the resistance band do the work. Um, basically, what I mean is that try to resist the band from closing up your legs. Does that make sense? So yeah, my resistance band is quite resistant. So that really really burns. If you don't have a resistance band, you can just do a normal leg lift. Just bring your leg as high as you can, then lower it down as slowly as you can and you'll be able to feel the burn on your inner thigh. And you're going to do the same on the other side. Yeah.
Yes, it's our last exercise and we have Caesar cakes. So this is just like the ordinary Caesar cakes. Um, but to target your inner thigh more, you can point your feet slightly outwards. But if you want to target more of your lower abs, then bring your legs down a little. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. I really recommend you to do two more times. I know this is a 10 minutes video, but if you really, really want results, I recommend doing three sets. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up and yeah, I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.